We're here today I'll be doing a review on MX Linux 18. Um, so yeah, we're going, I have retired fast looks, so I will be giving an overview of the distro in, in the reviews now. So yeah, so as you can see, it's got Flash pre-installed, it's got a couple games, it's got this alternatives configurator thing, it's got Clementine, Clip It, it has a Conky Manager. It's got an ebook reader, feather pad, Firefox, Galculator, um, G um, Genie, GIMP, Gparted, GDK Hash, HexChat. So yeah, it comes with a lot of stuff. Library Office here. Lucky Backup. That sounds interesting. Midnight Commander and Midnight Commander Editor. We got some MX apps, we'll get to those later. Um, we got Java pre-installed. Peg E, never heard of that, sounds like a game. We've got Samba set up, SM Tube, Swell Foop, whatever that is. Um, got Synaptic as its package manager. We got VLC, Transmission, I installed Voker Screen myself, and yeah. It's got Windows wireless drivers, that's interesting. Anyways, so now I'll be showing you guys the MX tools. So MX Linux, similarly to Linux Lite, which I reviewed earlier today, um, it has a tool, a bunch of pre-installed tools. So we got boot options, boot repair, if something's wrong for your bootloader, cleanup, codex installer, that I need to do. Because, um, I, you need codecs sometimes. <laughs> um, we got a con key. We got fixed GPG keys. iDevice mounter for mounting iPhones and iPads and stuff. MX package manager. And, ooh, this is done. Um, MX package manager. Now, this is pretty nice. You can... Like, edit stuff like the repo, so this is everything on the stable repo. And then we also got everything on the test repo. So that's pretty nice. And then we have Debian backports repo. It's taking That one's taking a while to download package info. Whatever, just cancel. Who needs that one anyway? I don't need it. <laughs> Um, we got flat packs here, so you can install flat packs using this. Almond, that's an interesting app name. So yeah, and I like this um, MX package installer. Um, it's got your categories, so if you want audio apps, you just go to audio. Let's say you wanted to look at icons um, or themes. Um, icons, you could just click on icons and it would show stuff, or themes. You could just click on themes. And torrent, there's wall, there's even wallpapers, and you can also get to other desktops on MX, so pretty nice. Um, so I like that package manager. Um, I don't really like the default panel layout, but you can change that. Um, I would prefer if... It also has Synaptic, too, as its other package manager. But I would prefer if this is more Unity-like. I like how, where the indicators are, but what I don't like is that on the tip, on the top corner, the tippity-top left corner, um, it has a login thing. Well, and then the first time, when I first booted it into the ISO for MS, MX Linux... Um, I clicked on this thinking it was a menu, but then it logged me out, so, yeah, but I'll get used to this after a while, probably. Um, let's see here. Let's look at more MX tools, since I kind of stopped at, um, the package manager. We also got Master CC, assuming that's for making a distro based on it. You could change the apt repository using, um, using... MX Repo Manager, and yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff, too. 
There's MX Tweak too. That's cool. Um, there is also a um, a whole application dedicated to all of them. So that's MX Tools. So this gives you a nice overview of all of them, and you can just click one. So pretty nice. Now another thing is if we we can there's Conky pre-installed. Can go in the this program Conky. I'm um, not Conky toggle. It's Conky manager. So let's say if I don't like this one, I could click on this one and it adds a new one, which is actually over the other one. So you have to disable the other one too. There we go. Now it's gone. Looks pretty nice. And then, although I'd like to move this. How do I move a Kongi again? I forgot. I haven't used Kongi in a while. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh, alright, whatever. Maybe, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll just keep it like that. Um, so this is, as you can see, MX Linux 18 Continuum. Pretty nice. So, yeah, this is a nice distro. It's based on Debian. And, um, the only thing I don't like about this distro is its default panel layout, but you can change that. And I do think that this would be a good distro with other options for desktops, but... It's pretty easy to install desktops. All you have to do is go into the MX package installer, click on desktop environments, and install whatever package you want. Like, I, I'll do Budgie in this example because I like Budgie a lot. And, well, it will, um, it probably will, uh, probably will use a lot more dependencies having two desktops on, but whatever. <clears throat> Wait, what? I don't know what's going on. That's weird. <clears throat> Alright, whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Can I minimize this? Thank you. So, yeah, that's my review on MX. Pretty good distro. It's based on Debian, so you won't have any issues of stability or anything. It's pretty light. I'm only using 28% of my CPU and around 800 megabytes of RAM. Although Linux Lite is a lot lighter, so this will not be a contender for 2018's best light distro because um, most other distros are lighter. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my review on the new MX Linux. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.